So number one, find the value of each of the following by using a calculator. Give your answer correct to four decimal places. So here we know that in our calculator we only have sine, cos, and tangent. So if uh, to find like cos tangent, we have to use the formula we have so that we can key in as tangent cos of sine. So a Tangent 165.7 This one you can key in directly from your calculator And uh, you are supposed to get Negative 0 0.2549 Okay, B Cotangent negative 555 So in this case, we don't have option for cotangent But then, we have formula where cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent So we just take it negative 555 so, when you key in inside your calculator, you are supposed to get negative 3.7321. So, starting C. So, we see here we have radian, we have pi. So, there is one way where you can directly substitute your radian uh, without changing to angle. Where you have to use radian mode on your calculator so so here to use radian mode first first you press shift and then here you press mode so you press shift you press mode and then you find radian and then you press radian. After that, after you press radian, you can see that on top of your calculator, there is R written here, which is now you are in radian mode. So, if you are in radian mode, you can directly put without changing to angle. Okay, so first you see here, see, you have cos secant square negative 1 over 2 radian, right? So, here we cannot press cos secant in your calculator. So, cos secant is actually 1 over sine square one negative 1.2 radian okay this one is in radian so which is equal to so this one sine square means sine negative 1.2 square so now we can directly key in inside your calculator without changing in angle only if you are in radian mode so try so you just put your using your calculator you are going to get One point eight six eight seven, which is equal to one point one five one one. But then, if you are in normal mode, uh, but if you are in normal mode, you need to convert radian to degree first. On you can only substitute directly if you are in radian mode. But if you don't want to change your radian mode, make sure you take the angle and then multiply with hundred eighty over pi. To use normal mode. Okay. So D, C can negative 16 over 9 pi. So we know this one is radian. We don't have secant. But we know that secant is actually 1 over cos. Cos negative 16 over 9 pi. If you are in radian mode, you can directly substitute negative 9 a negative 16 over 9 pi so here you will get 1.3054 so here only in radian mode you will get this answer if you key in directly if you are in normal mode make sure you change to degree you change to angle first you change to angle first as you won't get the answer. So, how to change back to the normal one? So, you just press shift. So, here to radian to normal mode. So, radian to normal mode. You just press shift. And then you press 9. Shift plus 9. That's me. you want to clear. And then you just press. I just usually press 3 which is all. So, shift 9 pre. That means our uh, shift shift plus nine is actually you want to, to press clear and then three and then it will go back to the normal mode. 
and you can see that you don't have R anymore. You don't have because just now when in radial mode you can see R right. So when you change back to normal mode you can see it's changed to D.